Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Grady Tech and this is the gaming review, battery drain test and the heating test of the LG Wing. Now before we get started, these are the complete specifications of the phone. This phone has a Snapdragon 765G processor with Adreno 620 GPU with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Even though it's not a flagship processor, it's still pretty good and that coupled with a Full HD Plus resolution display, it's pretty good for gaming. This phone has a dual screen setup where you can swivel the top part of the screen to flip it and you get to use two displays at the same time. These displays can improve your productivity but as far as gaming is concerned, as of now only Asphalt 9 is using this secondary display where you can just see the map in the secondary display. And using the phone in this orientation also feels pretty fragile. And even if other games come into the picture, say like PUBG, even they might be using it just for the map. So as of now, there aren't any innovative uses for the secondary display but might come in in the future. Now before we get started with the gaming review, here's my current setup. There are two huge lights on either side, there's no AC running in the background. Currently room temperature is 26 degrees. As for the temperature of the phone, on the front it is 32 degrees, at the bottom it is 32. On the back it's fluctuating from 32 to 33 degrees. Right now phone currently has 37% of battery. Now I'll start the timer and start the gaming review with Asphalt 9. As you can see, visuals are amazing and even the details look pretty good. And obviously there's no lag and the controls are also pretty smooth. Because of the thinner bezels and there's no notch or any punch hole design, so you get a very immersive experience while playing games. When you're playing games intensively, there might be a slight swivel movement for the display. I had been playing Asphalt 9 for 5 minutes, now let's check the temperature of the phone. On the front it's fluctuating from 33 to 34 degrees, at the bottom it is 35, on the back it is 35 once again and at the bottom it's fluctuating from 36 to 38 degrees. Next I'll be playing Call of Duty. First I'll be playing this game in very high graphic settings with very high frame rate. As you can see, once again visuals are pretty good, even the smaller details look pretty good, controls are also pretty smooth and I couldn't notice any lag. Now I'll be switching to maximum frame rate. Once again visuals are pretty good but not as good as earlier. Overall gameplay is slightly more smoother now but the difference is negligible. Overall this game is definitely playable and you can play comfortably in very high graphic settings. Now I've been playing this game for about 10 minutes. Let's check the temperature. On the front it's about 36 degrees, at the bottom it is 37. On the back it's fluctuating from 37 to 39 degrees and at the bottom it is 36 degrees. Overall gaming experience has been great and there are no heating issues. I've been playing games continuously for about 15 minutes and the phone's current battery percentage is 33%. So for approximately 15 minutes of gameplay, phone just used about 4% of battery, which is pretty good. Now for the final heat test, I'll be taking pictures from both the front and rear cameras for 3 minutes and then check the temperature of the phone. By the way, there is still no AC running in the background and the current room temperature is 26 degrees. Now I'll reset the timer and start taking the pictures. So it's been 3 minutes, now let's check the temperature. On the front it's about 37 to 38 degrees, the same at the bottom. On the back it's fluctuating from 41 to 42 degrees, that's the maximum so far. And at the bottom, I've seen a maximum of 38 degrees. Now the phone feels slightly hot, but that's completely manageable. In those 3 minutes, I've taken about 146 pictures, 
and that's a pretty decent number. So guys to conclude, gaming performance of this phone is pretty good and there are no heating issues with this phone. Only when you push the cameras to its limits, then the phone will get hot but that is still manageable. So guys, what do you think about this phone? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you are planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. I am Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.